Hello, and thank you for viewing this video. Stick around, this will be interesting and fun at the same time. My name is Steve, and I'm here to talk about mankind's ascension to the top of the animal kingdom. Exciting stuff, right? It's kind of like watching a documentary narrated by a stiff, nerdish guy with an IT background. Oh wait, that's me. So let's get into it. Why are humans at the top of the food chain? It's not because we're the strongest. If strength were the ticket, we'd be taking orders from gorillas and bears. I mean, have you seen those guys? They could bench press a Toyota and still have energy left for cardio. And it's not because we're the fastest. Cheetahs have us beat there. If evolution were a race, we'd still be at the starting line, checking our Fitbits and complaining about our knees. Resilient? Ha! Huh. Humans get a paper cut and we're out of commission for days. Meanwhile, cockroaches are surviving nuclear winters. If resilience was the key, we'd all be bowing down to insects. Actually, given the state of my apartment, I, I think I might be doing that already. No, it's our intelligence that got us here. Our ability to think abstractly, solve problems, and communicate complex ideas. I mean, what other species can develop tools, build cities, and still somehow argue on the internet over the existence of pineapple pizza? And speaking of intelligence, let's talk about artificial intelligence. Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet, says AI is mankind's greatest invention since fire, which is great because nothing says progress, like comparing a, a technological breakthrough to something cavemen discovered by accident. Fire was revolutionary. It gave us warmth, protection, and the ability to cook food, but it also came with dangers. Fire can get out of control. We've all seen those fire safety videos, right? Stop, drop, and roll. I'm still traumatized from elementary school. Now imagine if fire were intelligent. Imagine it could deliberately evade our efforts to contain it. That's AI for you. It's like creating a fire that can argue back when you try to put it out. Excuse me, human, but I have some thoughts on this water you're about to throw on me. Let's discuss. And if we create an embodied AI system with intelligence surpassing our own, what then? Do we become second fiddle in our own story? Imagine an AI so smart it makes Einstein look like a kindergartner finger painting. It could become the new apex of intelligence. We're talking about androids that could dominate us intellectually while we're still trying to figure out why our Wi-Fi isn't working. But hey, let's not forget about safety measures. The departure of key personnel from OpenAI raises some serious concerns. It's like the scientists in Jurassic Park quitting because they realized, oh wait, maybe bringing back dinosaurs isn't such a great idea after all. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. In our rush to harness AGI's potential, we might overlook safety protocols. It's like trying to assemble IKEA furniture without reading the instructions. Next thing you know, you've got a super intelligent AI that's a few screws loose and an Allen wrench short of global domination. We need regulations and ethical considerations. Remember, unchecked intelligence can lead to progress and peril. Just look at our own history. We've developed the internet and now we have X, previously called Twitter. Coincidence? I think not. The point is, as we push the boundaries of AGI, we need to ensure these technologies are safe, ethical, and beneficial for humanity. Otherwise, we might end up with an AGI overlord who's really good at ordering us around, but terrible at making small talk. Greetings, human. I have calculated the optimal conditions for our continued existence. Also, how about that local sports team? Let's balance innovation with caution, because the last thing we need is to create a super intelligent species that realizes it's smarter than us and decides, hey, these humans had a good run, but I've got some new ideas. Thank you, everyone. You've been great. Keep thinking, stay safe, and maybe don't trust your toaster with your Wi-Fi password. And one final thing, don't forget to like and subscribe.